first have to do the, the first figure of eight and then three. And then you do your knot here. Right, so let's have a look at the knots. First, first let's see. Okay, okay you can pull it so, so it looks like an eight. Then you know it's right. We are here at Waterfall Boven uh, to do some training uh, as we prepare for Everest 2020. We, as a group of women, are trying to summit Mount Everest. We are doing some technical practicing. So some abseiling, some dew marring, some rock climbing, some work with crampons on rock. Yeah, some of the stuff we're going to have to be doing in, at Everest next year. The significance of the first all-female team for me is, is very poignant because I've always been on all-male teams and I've always been the only female. You know, it's just in recent years where I've seen a huge uh, upswell of, of women in the mountaineering community, especially in high altitudes. So it just uh, puts female climbing on the map for South Africans and for Africa as well. I've always known I'm going to try to get back there to go and finish off my business with Everest. We don't have a huge amount of big snowy mountains like you find in Europe where you've got the Alps um, and the Himalayas where you've got uh, snow and ice and in other parts of the world where you've got different conditions. So I think um, perhaps women from other parts of the world might have had some more experience with that. So. Um, but in terms of strength, in terms of ability, I don't believe that the African women are necessarily going to be any more challenged. We have a team that has um, different levels of experience, so it's important for us in terms of training and preparation is to get everybody comfortable with um, a range of different things. What we're doing is to ensure that everyone is very comfortable with safety. Mont Blanc will be a next step, is working with the equipment in snow and then in the cold conditions because cold can become very difficult. You have to manage the cold. So that, I would say, is our next best thing. Best thing that we need to do and then the altitude. Any endurance event right towards the end, you really do fight an emotional fight, you know. You ask yourself, do I need to go on? Knowing what to expect means that you can prepare better mentally. You, you can look back to other events that you've completed that are similar. You look at uh, how it felt like when you were climbing Aconcagua. It, it was a 15-hour day when you, when you were suffering. So because you have managed to, to, to get out of that uh, successfully, you then know that possibly you can get out of any other situation. So it, it gives you confidence. Climb like a lady, you know, and, and I mean it. Um, I don't have to run um, like the, the, the males that are in the mountain. Um, you know, climb your climb and climb like a lady and uh, get all the way to the top. I, I made a joke and said, um, you know, Everett is female. I think she'll favor them. They'll be just fine. <laughs>